Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. As promised, we are back with another roster investment video after the recent roster update. Let me know how you guys roster update went. If you guys listened to our picks, you guys probably made a lot of stubs. We made about a mill or two. Uh, as you guys can see, we finally got the live series collection done. Randy Johnson, the GOAT. Frank Thomas is ass. I'm getting rid of him. I, don't, I can't hit with him. Side note, I can't hit with Frank. Does anyone have Frank Thomas on the team? I don't know what it is. I, like, look at this. I, I'm 1 for 12 with him. I, I don't know what it is. Regardless, if you guys want to hit bad with Frank Thomas just like me, listen to these roster investments. I got a bunch, as always, if you guys are new to the channel. Do all my research. I have a bunch of cards. A bunch of picks. What I think you guys should buying them at as of right now. Right now is the fire sell. Right now is the time to buy. Uh, it's a little bit of a risk because you don't know how they're going to play the next two weeks. But we can look at how they've been playing. We can kind of get an educated guess. I think they're going to be continue to play good. Yeah, as always, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the first pick. Alright, number one, we got Clay Holmes. These are also not in any particular order. I'm not saying Clay Holmes is the best pick out of this video. I have three locks, which I'll tell you when we get to the players who I think is a lock or not. But first player we got is Clay Holmes. I'm buying him under 2K. He's looking pretty good. He's at 1.7K right now. We all know how good he's playing. He recently gave up a run in June. He has nine innings pitch, nine Ks, one earned run in June, and he's still pitching like a .53 ERA. So uh, if he keeps it up, he's going diamond. He's got to. He's, he's one of the top, if not the best closer right now in baseball. And uh, yeah, if you guys can buy him at 1.7K, that's pretty good in my opinion. I wouldn't say this is a lock because you never really know if he's going to go all the way up to diamond or not. If he goes to 84, you guys can still make stubs at 84 overall if Clay Holmes goes to that. Just sell him on the hype right before the roster update. But uh, yeah, 1.7K I think is a no-brainer. I'm definitely buying him at this. Up next, we got Shane McClanahan. This is a lock for me. I love this card. But as always, if you guys do not know, do not invest all your stubs off rip into one card or in the first week. Uh... As you guys can see, I only had 300k in my inventory, which I probably put about four, 500k in an investment so far. Not all my stubs. So just, just, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new, don't ever invest all your stubs off rip or into one player. Because you never know, Shane McClanahan is pitching good. He is my lock as of right now, but he could start getting bombed on or get hurt, whatever the case is. So just be careful with that. Uh, with that being said, I'm buying Shane McClanahan heavy under 8k stubs. Uh, I think he's going diamond. Uh, quick sell for a 90 overall is 8k, so you're really not really not losing anything. He's at quick sell value for 89 overall right now, so you can buy him for 7k. And uh, yeah, at 7k, you're literally losing nothing. Worst case scenario, you just quick sell him for for uh, 7k, and you don't lose anything. With Shane, I'm I'm buying him at 7k personally, and I'm gonna sell him on the market. When uh, his hype is there right before the roster update, make my subs. And uh, if he doesn't get any hype, if he's playing bad, I'm just going to quick sell him. Uh, the, reason why I like, the reason why I like Shane so much, not only is he pitching great, pitching the under a 2 ERA on the year, but his last two games, his very last two games were against the New York Yankees, the hottest team in baseball right now. He went 12 innings, 15 Ks, and only two earned runs in those two starts against the hottest team in baseball. I think right there, I think if a, if a player can pitch good against the Yankees or any top-tier team like that, I think they deserve to be invested in. And especially, that was his last two starts. Not like... It wasn't like it was just one lucky start. It was back-to-back -back starts against the Yankees. His very last two starts, 12 innings, 15 Ks. I think he's shown enough to be invested in. And at 7K, you're not losing anything. All right, Byron Buxton. I don't know how he went to 91. I'm not going to lie. He was one of my picks for last roster update. Ne never did I imagine him going all the way up to a 91. That's crazy to me. I love Buxton, though. He's always been one of my favorite players, but uh, I did not think he's going to. I thought he was going to either stay the same or get downgraded, to be honest. So that was crazy to me. I'm buying Buxton at 9K. That's quick sell value. So if you guys can get him around 9K, you're like, like I was talking about with Shane, you're not losing anything. You guys can quick sell him, worst case. Um, with Buxton, I'm buying on the. I'm buying now and selling on the hype. I don't think he's going to get upgraded again. I, I don't know. He's a great player. He's hitting 281 with eight home runs in June. But, uh,. And like I always say, defense and speed always help the car get upgraded. But with Buxton, I just I didn't think he's gonna go to 91. I, I still don't know how he is at 91. Um, kind of crazy to me. So I feel like there's times in the past where he's playing better and didn't get upgraded to a 90. But regardless, um, I'm buying Buxton at 9K, selling on the hype. Me personally, he could get upgraded even higher if he plays good. I guess he does have that good defense. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy this card heavy and then sell on the hype. Alright, Justin Verlander is a card I 
believing pretty heavy. Um, he went seven innings against the Yankees, one earned run, only three strikeouts. So if he he also had a bad start, his previous start, I think mean, he gave up like four earned runs or something. So I think buying Verlander anything under 8K is pretty solid. I think you guys can easily sell him on the hype. Even before the roster update, his last start was bad. He still was hyped on the market. He was still like 13, 14K. So I think buying him at like 7, 8K, like 7K right now is perfect. Anything under 8K, I think is solid as of right now. Especially if he, pitch, if he pitches one more good game, I'm buying heavy on him. Uh, but right now, I would put a little bit of money in him. I think 7K, there's really, he's quick sell. You might as well buy him. Bryce Harper, this is one of my locks. Second lock of the video. Bryce Harper, I'm buying him under anything under 10K. Right now, he's, what's quick sell for 91? He's 9K, even though it says you can buy him for 7.8K. That's not true. 9K right now is quick sell value. I'm buying him anything under 10K. I think Bryce Harper, by the end of the next roster update, or in two weeks, whatever, I think I think Bryce Harper will easily be 20K plus. So I think this is this is one of the locks. I think he's an easy double up right here. This is 20K plus. He's a 91 overall. I think he may even get upgraded next roster up. 92, 93, 94 maybe even. He's uh, he's one of the hottest hitters. He's batting 365, five home runs in June. One of the most underrated players. No one really talks about him. And with all that being, yeah, I mean like he's he's solid all around. He has good defense, decent speed. I think this card has a chance to get upgraded, and he's going to be hyped on the market. 9K is a steal. I think he's easily going to be 20 to 30K come next roster update. All right, out of my three locks, Trey Turner is the third one, and I love this card. This is my favorite lock of the video. Trey Turner, we already know how good he is and how what he can do as far as in-game, as far as in the video game. We know how much he could be worth. Earlier in the year, he's worth 100K plus. He had a little bit of a slump, but now he's back. A lot of people don't even know he's back. He's batting 361 with five home runs. I didn't know he was even back. Um, I'm buying him anything under 7K. He's an 87 overall. I could easily see him go up to a 90 overall by next roster update. He's everything he needs to be to be a 90. He already was a 90 before. Good speed, pretty good defense. Good con he has everything you need. Uh, I think Trey Turner is a solid card. I'm investing heavy in him. Uh, and if he if he keeps batting the way he is, he's going 90. Maybe even I don't I don't know if I'd say 90 plus, but he's going 90 for sure. Keeps playing the way he is. He gets a little more contact versus lefties. Gets a little more home runs versus righties. It's over with. He's going 90 plus, and that's an easy. He's going easily 15, 20k on the market. All right, Aaron Nola, pitching great this year. Last three games, 22 innings pitched, 24 Ks, only three earned runs. I'm liking Aaron Nola. Only thing is, I didn't know. I was looking into his stats and stuff, and I didn't know he was an 86 overall already. I thought he was a gold. He, I think he just got upgraded to a diamond. But uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm kind of 50-50 on Aaron Nola. I don't know if he'll get upgraded. He's pitching great, but I don't know if he'll get upgraded even higher. So, uh, yeah, I'm buying Aaron Nola anything under 4K. Not one of my locks, not one of my favorite picks, but I think you can make subs on this guy. He's pitching good. I don't think this is like a, a high-risk type of card. You guys can buy him for quick sell right now. And uh, as as we all know, quick sell, you're not really risking anything. Like I always like, like I always say, what I like to do is I like to sell on the hype of the card, and then if there is no hype on the card, just quick sell them and you get your money back. So uh, really no risk, all reward. And uh, I think Aaron Nova has the chance to get upgraded. I just I didn't know he's 86 already, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, if you guys can buy for quick sell, he goes... If he goes to 87, 88, you're making 1,000, 2,000 subs per card on just quick selling him. So if Aaron Nola pitches good, I think by next roster update, if he has a couple good starts, I think he will be 4 to 5K on the market for sure. All right, Zach Wheeler, someone I believe in more than Aaron Nola just because he's a lower overall. And I, I low-key think Zach Wheeler is a better pitcher. I don't know. Let me know, Phillies fans, if I'm right or wrong. I kind of... Maybe I'm just a little biased because I like pitching with him in the actual MLB The Show. But uh, yeah, he's pitching good. Last three starts, 17 innings, 19 Ks, only three earned runs. I'm buying him under 3K. I think he's going diamond. He should have low-key. He had a chance to go diamond last roster update, but I guess he just didn't. He's one of the cards that didn't. And uh, yeah, if he, has a, if he has another one or two good starts by the, the next roster update, he's going diamond for sure. He could even go 86. I don't know if he go all the way up to 87, but I think, he, I think 86 is a potential for Zach Wheeler. Unless he pitches insane, then he can go higher than that. Right now, Zach Wheeler is a little bit over quick sell value, so you guys can maybe even wait for him to go down to quick sell value. That's possible. But uh, yeah, I think Zach Wheeler is going diamond as long as he pitches good. So maybe wait one start for maybe wait one more start for Zach Wheeler and see how he pitches, and then invest if he pitches good, invest in him. That's kind of my advice. But uh, 
Yeah, I don't think it's a bad investment. As long as you're buying him under three, under two, I think you're, I, I think you're doing good. And yeah, those are all my favorite picks as of right now. Not too many, not too many cards. I don't want to talk about too many people as of yet. We, want, we kind of want to see how people will play in the next week or so. But uh, I will drop some more videos. Let me know in the comment section, as always, who you guys are investing in, who you guys think are doing good. Let me know. You know, there's always people that I can't really, uh, I can't, I can't know everyone. You know what I mean? So let me know who I missed out on. So yeah, let me know. And uh, yeah, as always, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notice so you guys never miss another roster update video, stream, all that type of stuff. A bunch of MLB The Show content on this channel. As long as you guys listen to a lot of my advice, I'm going to help you guys make a lot of stubs. We're going to make you a millionaire. Just give me, as long as you guys have like 100, 200K stubs in your inventory, we can easily flip that to a milli. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's get this money. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Everyone have a good day. Peace.